Hey guys, welcome to another Hello Garo video. Uh, I really wanted to share with you guys how I take off my makeup and what my nighttime routine is for my lashes and removing my makeup before I take a shower and like officially wash my face. So um, here are some of the products that I use. Um, first is this makeup eraser. Um, it's the standard makeup eraser brand. It's like a really soft towel um, and it's like a microfiber towel. So what you do is you get it like really hot and then you put it on your face and it helps to take your makeup off. Um, and then two products from Muji. Um, this one you can get in the US stores. It's the oil cleansing, oil-based cleanser. Um, this one in particular I got in, um, I got in the US. Um, but this one, which is the foaming exfoliation cleanser, you cannot buy this in America. You can't even buy it online. You have to buy it in Japan. Um, so I always stock up, in fact, I got this bottle back in April and I use it quite a bit and I'm actually like down to there. So um, yeah, I really like it. It's 680 yen, which comes out to like six bucks after the conversion. So it's like really good quality product for like relatively cheap. And then this one, the oil cleansing is 950 yen, which comes out to about like 900 or um, $9. So anyway, uh, yeah, those are the three main products that I'm going to be using. So if you don't watch anything else, um, you already know everything that I use, and you can stop watching now. But if you want to keep watching, which I hope you do, you can watch and follow along. So um, first things first is I get my hair out of my face. I've been using these clips from Forever 21, and they seem to be serving me pretty well. And next I'm going to run hot water. And... I'm running my microfiber makeup remover towel, makeup eraser towel under the faucet. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's pretty wet. And I like to get the water as hot as humanly possible. And that's because, ooh, it's like really hot and steamy. Um, ah. um, that's because, ouch, uh, I'm trying to basically soften up my um, eyelash glue. So I'll like press it down and then very gently rub. I'm not like scrubbing, I'm like very gently wiggling it back and forth and it should come off. You can see that there's just a little bit left on my eyelash. So rather than pull at it, I'm just gonna go back in with a really warm towel until the lashes, they should come straight off. If they don't, keep repeating this process until they come off. And the bottom lashes come off pretty easily as well. So I'm going to do the other eye, so I'm going to apply more hot water, squeeze it out, press it down, and then just very gently wiggle until I feel it start to get loose. Doot, doot. Um, there you go. So that's the top lashes, and then the bottom lashes should come off like Probably not, you can see they're right there. So same thing, you don't wanna pull because you're gonna rip out your natural lashes and you definitely don't wanna do that. So if it's not, if they're not coming loose, like don't force it, just keep going at it with a hot towel. And you don't have to use the like makeup remover towel. Uh, as long as you use like a towel, like a wash rag is totally fine. Cool, so I've done that. And for the makeup eraser, I find that it does a pretty good job of removing my makeup, but I like to be very thorough. So I use all three methods to take off my makeup. And I think that the makeup eraser is a really good method for people that maybe have um, very oily skin that like don't want, or sorry, very dry skin that don't want to put like soaps on their face. Yeah. All right, so that's kind of the first step. So next I will wring it out and I will use my makeup eraser. So I only use half of it at a time. So this side is dry and this side is wet and then I'll just hang dry it like so. And then I'll use the other side and then I wash it. And the stuff that I use to wash it is this laundry detergent from Toka cause it smells really good, but I guess you could use really anything. So yeah. Alright, so cool, that's done. I'm gonna gently pat my face dry. 
for the next step, which is the oil. So I'm gonna be, again, using the Muji Oil Cleansing. And I put just one pump into my hand and rub it between my hands and then rub it into my face, focusing a lot on where I have my waterproof makeup, which is gonna be around my eyes, around my lashes. So the reason why you wanna use oils, and this is, I was talking about this in another video, um, the concept of double cleansing, which is what I'm doing right now. Double cleansing is great because the oils in the cleanser, the oil-based cleanser, which is this, pulls out the oils that are in your skin. So all the dirt and grime, that's like stuck to the sebum in your skin and also the waterproof makeup, which is usually oil-based. And again, like this is a really good option if you've got really dry skin to use an oil-based cleanser rather than a soap-based one. And I also find that like using an oil-based cleanser encourages you to like massage your face, which is really good for like circulation. So I'll do that. Double checking in the mirror that I got everything, which I did. It's also really good for like waterproof eyebrow stuff. So this particular brand from Muji, when you add water to it, it um, it turns kind of milky, which is really nice. So I'm gonna rinse really quickly. Okay, and now that my face is wet, I'm now going to use my Muji Foaming Cleanser and, exfoli and Exfoliator Scrub. And you can see it's got little bits in there. And you don't need that much. You rub it together, you can kind of see the like bits. And it does foam up. It's kind of milky. It's not overly abrasive, which again is really nice if you've got sensitive skin. So I'll do that. Ah, falling over. <laughs> and I'll do like my jawline because I, I do contouring and I feel like I tend to break out there. So it's really important for me to like do that and like around my hairline as close as I can get it. And then I get the water as hot as I possibly can stand, but not so hot that it's scalding my hands or my face. Ooh, okay, that's pretty hot. I'll be right back. Ah! And then for my jawline, I'll like move the water up onto my face, that way I don't drip too much water everywhere else. Yay. Cool. And then, it's this is really important, um, be really gentle to your skin. So I tend to pat dry my face. Rather than scrub it, this is a lot gentler on the face and it won't cause wrinkles. So yeah, so once I've done all of this, then I'll go take a bath or go take a shower. All squeaky clean, yay. Well, I hope that this was really helpful and if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>